Last week I passed my Agent 4 specialist exam and in this video I am going to give you exact steps to pass your Agent 4 specialist exam in 2 weeks. This video is broken down into 3 categories. The first category consists of key topics that you must focus to pass this exam. The second category will show you exact steps that you need to take to pass this exam in under 2 weeks. This is where I will share my personal tips, my personal experience as well as I will share with you my personal study notes that will help you to clear this exam. And category number 3 are final tips. Final tips that are practical, final tips that you can use during the exam to select the correct answer. To prepare for this exam, you need to understand five key topics. So the first topic is prompt builder and templates. This is where you need to understand when to use prompt builder. You need to understand what are different types of templates that are available. For example, there is a field generation template, there is a sales email template, there is a record summary template. And as a consultant, as someone who is building these templates, you want to understand what are the real world scenarios for using each of these templates. The second most important topic to pass this exam would be data cloud and grounding. Data cloud is going to be used for AI. Data cloud is used for agent force. So you need to understand how is, what kind of role does it play in agent force? How do you retrieve data? How do you index data? What are different kind of retrievers that are available in data cloud? The next thing is grounding of data. Now AI is very smart, but it needs data to be grounded. How is that data grounded? What are the objects that are supported as part of Salesforce grounding? What is not supported? What are your limitations when it comes to grounding? These are the things that are covered as part of this particular topic. Your third topic is reasoning engine. So reasoning engine is whenever a user enters something, how does it find the correct action to perform? What are the different topics that are associated with the agent builder? What kind of flows are available to build your prompt so that it can get information to provide that accurate response or an intelligent response to your users? Your fourth area of topic would be deployment and testing. Now that you've learned everything about prompt builder, you know different types of templates like the sales template, you know the flex templates, you know field generation template, record summary template. You understand the role of data cloud. You know how objects are grounded, which objects are supported, which objects are not supported. You know how reasoning engine works. The only logical step from here would be deployment. Your agent is built, your agent force are built, your, your prompts are built. How do you move it from one org to another org? How do you test the, the, the accuracy of your uh, agent force across different organizations. What options are available? Are there dashboards that are available that will help you to monitor the quality of the product that you have built? This is what is covered in the deployment and testing of agent force. The final topic is the trust layer. Every organization wants AI. Every organization wants to embed AI into daily workflow of their sales representatives or of their service representatives. But every organization is also very anxious about their data. This is where you learn Salesforce's number one principle, which is trust. So you will understand everything in terms of data masking, prompt defense, toxicity score. What does toxicity score of zero and toxicity score of one mean? How do you get all these metrics from Salesforce? Uh, how do you inform the organization? What is masked and what is not masked? All this information is covered as part of your Agent Force Specialist exam. Let's talk about Category 2. In this section, I want to tell you how do you prepare for this exam. And there are really three ways of preparing for this exam. The first way, obvious answer is Trailhead. There is a module that consists of eight hours. You'll find the link in the description. Now you're probably worried, eight hours, I don't have that kind of time. The good news is a lot of these modules, modules are just videos. So you can watch these videos while you're traveling, while you're sleeping in the bed, uh, while you're just moving around the house. But I will tell you this is gold mine. Okay, these videos are absolutely fantastic and you will learn so much about AI. The other ones are trailhead modules. I recommend you do them because they really cover the fundamentals, the core of agent force. They cover key topics that you will see in the exam. So you can literally divide these eight hours in seven days, right? Just do one hour every day and you will be done with your module, your entire trail in one week. 
The second way is hands-on projects. Now, I'm not asking you to build hands-on projects for every single thing. But like I said, the number one topic is your prompt builder and templates. So just spin up a simple developer uh, or that supports agent force and create three templates. One, create a template for sales, create a template for record summary, create a template for field generation. This will give you the idea of how real world scenarios work. Now, if you're confused about what I, you need to build, just go to Trailhead, select projects, and you will see tons of uh, hands-on projects that you can uh, just follow the instructions. This will, I'm telling you, this will give you the real world experience. And when you take the exam, you will know, oh, I made this mistake. Uh, this is what works. This is how these different templates work. This is going to really, really help you to hone in on your skills and to pass the exam. You don't need to take a lot of times. Uh, once you cover or once you finish the trailhead, uh, trail in eight days, take a couple of days to do hands-on projects. That is like 10 days, okay? Now the next four days, what I want you to focus are on the notes that are linked in the description. These are my personal notes. These are handwritten notes that I've placed in Google Sheet. Um, make sure that you follow these things because it has a common pattern. Like I said, it covers five uh, primary topics from prompt builder, what kind of security uh, does does agent force have. So it will just help you to reinforce those those concepts. Read through those notes and I'm telling you 14 days is enough to prepare for agent force. Agent force specialist is relatively a new exam. When I took this exam, there were always three options. And whenever I was faced with a tricky, challenging questions, it was always easy to eliminate one super obvious wrong answer. That left me with two options, right? So I have already 50% chance of getting the right answer. I would think about why a particular option would be wrong, right? I'm going with the mindset of process of elimination and it always helped. So that is my final tip for your exam. That brings us to the end of the video. I wish you all the best. I hope you pass the Agent 4 Specialist exam. And if you do pass the Agent 4 Specialist exam, make sure that you share this video with your friends. Share your success story on LinkedIn. Tag me. I would love to be part of your journey. Again, I make videos on YouTube to help you grow in the Salesforce ecosystem, to help you grow in the technical ecosystem. So if these these videos have been helpful for you. If this video has been helpful for you, hit that subscribe button and I will see you in my next video.